Hi, I'm Karen Moresca reporting for the Hoya from Georgetown University Men's Basketball Preview Day. As we go forward, uh, you know, it, it, the process isn't any different for me in that the previous four years here, once the new year starts, you forget the, the prior year. And, and that is the same with this year. You know, obviously, we have, uh, we lost a class last year that's extremely special, but they're gone. And so God bless them, I love them, they know I love them, but they're gone. And so we're gonna move on, we're not gonna think about that. They're not gonna be, the, the way I approach it, there's not gonna be any time this year where I'm gonna be sitting there thinking, ooh, I wish we had Roy, ooh, I wish we had John, ooh, where's Patrick? It just doesn't work that way. Um, and so we're gonna figure out how this group is gonna skin the cat, how this group is gonna have some success, how this group collectively is gonna figure out how we're gonna win games. We got 13 of them behind me. I expect to step to leadership. But you know, state now, obviously, you have Jesse, who's a senior, who's been through it all, uh, who understands. Um, and you have Dewan, who's a junior, who's been through uh, similar experiences. And, and they have to step up, and they have to show the way uh, on the floor, off the floor, uh, to younger younger guys. We have a young team. And, and the sooner this young group figures it out, and that's what we do. You guys have heard me say that. I mean, that's what we do. We figure it out. Um, the sooner we figure it out, uh, we'll be good. You know, Jesse has a keen understanding of what his coach wants. Um, Jesse has the ability, because of his intelligence and his experience, to be able to place not only himself and his teammates where they should be. Uh, and while our younger group is going through their growth process, he has to do that. And then after our younger group has got, gained a little bit of experience, he has to continue to do that. Um, you know, so obviously he has a big responsibility, uh, but he's, he's up to it. You know, I think so far they're going through a normal freshman year. You know, starting on Saturday is going to become abnormal. Um, and so, so far I think, I think they're having a good time. I, mean, I think all freshmen go through an adjustment period. You know, what is expected of you? Uh, the demands, the, the intensity um, is heightened from what you're used to regardless of how good you were, regardless of what high school program you went to. It's, it's a different experience and so, you know, they're going to go through that growth process, you know, but they are a bright group. Uh, they are an extremely hard working group. Uh, and so now we got to just start to figure out how we're going to mesh and blend their talents with, with the group that's returning. Our league is terrific. You know, more so than any time that I can remember, I think that the parity, uh, there's a lot of parity at a high level. You know, sooner or later, next couple of days here, you know, the league projections are going to come out. And, and I wouldn't be surprised if at come the end of the year, and I think that most coaches in this league would say this, that, you know, whoever is picked, seven, eight, nine, if at the end of the year they end up being one, two, three, and whoever is one, two, three end up being seven, eight, nine. Uh, I don't think that would be a surprise. You know, I think we have uh, a lot of teams that are very similar in terms of, uh, I think that our league has several of the top teams in the country. And then there's not much difference between the group. And so we'll see how things play out. But it's going to be, uh, you know, for a fan, um, for just a general basketball fan, uh, it's going to be a great league to follow. Uh, depending on how the chips fall, it could be hell for any particular coach. Uh, but the league is terrific this year. Thanks for checking out thehoya.com. Stay tuned for more exclusive interviews throughout the season.